hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll just provide you the brown color effects so that is the camera preset so the before image was like that and after adding the preset you are getting this type of effects so some of my fans just requested me to give brown type preset for the xmp file or photoshop editing file that's why i'm just made this preset for you guys and i'll provide you that preset free of cost so if you want to get the download link of the that preset or today's preset please check out my video description and if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification and if you are already my subscriber thanks a lot for that so let's start the tutorial and go to the file and open up here is my stock image this one is my stock image and i'll open it up i downloaded this one from deviantart.com and i'll provide it this photo download link in my video description for your practice purpose at first press ctrl j for the copy of this background layer and you can rename this one and after that go to the filter camera filter you know camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop if you are the user of the creative cloud version you are getting this one by default otherwise you have to install it manually if you want to get the manual download link please check out my video description and from here you are getting here load settings options and brown this preset and open it up yeah you are getting nice effects so let's see what i have done here and uh, how to make this type of things so here the temperature plus 10 for the warm look and tint plus 7 for adjust this one and the exposure that is 30.30 for this image you can control this one for your image and the contrast you can make it up or down it could be the your image or uh, it depends on your image and shadow that is 30 and white 0 and blacks minus 26 and clarity 23 you can make it up and down this one and the variance 13 and saturation minus 7 so after that uh, here is tone curve didn't use that any kind of tone curve over here and after that detailing you can i didn't touch that and here i just made the yellow color in uh, minus 53 amount and orange color minus 9 and green i made it minus 100 and saturation uh, saturation that is minus 100 green saturation and echo saturation minus 100 and minus 38 for the yellow plus 13 for the orange and plus 34 for the red color and luminance of orange i made it 15 and after that split toning the value of the please split toning that is you are getting um, 105 and saturation 10 and the hue um, 360 and saturation 10 and low, no lens correction issues over here i just made here vignetting a little bit minus 12 and the camera calibration i made the primary red color that is plus 4 saturation minus 7 and green primary color that is minus 47 and the blue primary color that is 21 and hit the ok button you're getting the brown look over here if you want to get exaggerated this one you have to add another preset or another like a um, uh, filter you'll get this one from the nick collection go to the filter and nick collection and color fix pro 4 so this one is another plugins of the photoshop i do love this one to add in my photoshop just because of lots of or bunch of presets or filters over here in color fix pro 4 from here i'm using the cross processing and lots of method and filters over here i'm using here c04 and I made this one 17 to 15 the strength if you made it like that it will be like that but I want to make this one 15 or 17 15 is good for this photo and hit the ok button you're getting nice effects so it's applying in your photo so before one was like that and after one you are getting like that so let's apply this one in outdoor type photo just open it up here another photo just opening it up and I'll provide you this uh, photo link as well just because of your practice purpose press ctrl j and I'm going to the filter camera raw filter so here is the load settings options and I'll just insert this one and open it up 
so in this case i want to increase the exposure what i just said earlier that um, the different type of image you can change the exposure it will give you the best output so in this photo i'll add some exposure and add some contrast it will amazing so hit ok button before that let's see the before one and after one before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so hit the ok button so you can add another filter from the nick collection or not so this one is uh, different types and go to the file and open up let's apply this one another photo so this one is another stock photo and i'll provide the download link of this photo as well for your practice purpose and press ctrl j same process go to the filter camera filter so after that here is the load settings options and brown this preset i will provide you and you are getting this one as well in this photo so if you need you can change up all the things or uh, let's see the before one and after one yeah before one was like that and after one you are getting the brown look of your photographs so i think this preset is unique and uh, like you can use this one indoor photo and outdoor photo both so here is outdoor portrait here is another outdoor and here is another indoor portrait so let's apply this one uh, another uh, photo so here is like uh, which have uh, like green color so let's apply that preset in this green background or green type photo so filter camera filter from here go to the load settings options and just insert this one so you're getting the brown look over here in this case you can make the variance a little bit down it will help you out like that so let's see the before one was like that and after one you are getting like that so before and after let's see the before one and after one so this one is outdoor portrait and another this one was another outdoor portrait and then you are getting the indoor portrait over here and you are getting the outdoor portrait effects in these photographs so hope that you learn a lot from this video and it will help you out to make your photographs more amazing type like brown type amazing color and color grading like that so if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification and amazing tutorial as well until the next video i am a7 is signing out today bye bye